Right, so the open beta for Modern Warfare has just released, and this is actually the kind of open beta you actually do not need to have pre-purchased the game for. So, let's just jump straight into it. I'd rather say that I am... Oh, it... Now, basically keep up level 20s as well because the entire uh, apparently just it's so we're gonna die that's basically what happens in call of duty i don't really any from games like modern 2 or anything like that Kinda of fun to look back and say Modern Warfare 2 when you actually refer to since this is a soft re reboot and everything like that. I don't have that much time either, so um, I'm basically just uh, play a few games, see how we're doing, see how the game is doing, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get some. And we. Enjoy these top tier graphics right there. I mean, that is just splendid, ain't it? <laughs> so, we're searching for a game and uh, we have a look at render resolution, aspect ratio, sync every frame, good, that's disabled, everything is very low. But That's, it's kind of fun to see text resolution being at low with them trying to uh, and curse call servers. Yes, if they still rely on peer to peer hosting, then I'm gonna get mad. Because it's unacceptable. I mean, I blasted Ubisoft pretty hard over the peer to peer hosting in Wildlands Go. And if a triple A title that is essentially all about multiplayer doesn't have dedicated servers, that's just fucked up. I recognize that peer to peer hosting has its advantages, but uh, there's not really many of them. I mean, the only clear advantage is that, I mean, I don't mind it as backup. Lock connection post again, and again to see this thing. And so, we are still scanning for a match. Apparently. And we'll see. We'll see if uh, we get to play this time then. Yes, we actually do. So we got kind of picked the assault with the farmers. Domination. It's on burst fire and we can select semi auto, that's always nice. The same little bit of clunky Call of Duty style Enemy holds all gameplay. Break not really Oh, there's not really much fluid in it. Still, it's, it looks, looks well enough. Dan goes straight ahead on B. We need to keep moving. That's... Grit out. Alright, so while we were around here, the enemy took the... Yep, yeah, just here, and, uh, avenged. So, we got that going for us, which is nice.
Don't do okay, so now the now the sound is back. I know it's a that but I mean the sound just dropping like that is not acceptable. Allied cruise missile away. Can go down. Can go down. We've got control. Reloading. We're on Charlie's. We've got two objectives. Lock it down. All right, we're moving to the objective. Can go down for a kill. Alright, so let's check it. Let's switch to the ghost. Yeah, what that loadout is all about. We got a suppressed and uh, I think. Yeah. I mean, in Call of 9mm out for that matter. Yeah, that didn't work out for us. And they have like deployable covers, like the shields from Rainbow Six Siege. That's ripping Secure stuff it, off at this point. We've got two objectives. Lock it down. Hostiles, that's yeah, they came from the other direction. That's my bad. Yeah, seriously, the... I'm gonna check it out, see if it is... A... That sounds... There so far, trailers. We're holding two, we have the advantage. Building. Enemy UAV overhead. Securing C. Let's grab the MP5. I mean, me and HK weapons are always going to share an ad. So, let's keep moving this way. One key rule about ga a Call of Duty gameplay, don't stay still. Especially not in Domination. You keep moving. Uh, so, let, we might as well try out the next loadout. And I think the game has frozen. Okay, deployable. Yeah, this is... Very much. This is very, very much uh, uh, a Rainbow Siege knockoff. It's clear. It said, "Hey, do you know what the Rainbow Six Siege does well?" And then they just took it. It's not. It's not really anything new for Call of Duty. Call of Duty was essentially just a team. Friendly chopper gunner on Overwatch. Team deathmatch. Yeah. Remember when the big when Call of Duty the, um, the contribution to the gaming world was the single player. Uh, that is when I started playing Call of Duty, and nowadays people don't even barely recognize the fact that Call of Duty even has a single player. I mean, if I play on a I don't think it's gonna be for the multiplayer. I mean, I got Siege for that. I like Siege far better than I... Oh wait, there was an MP5 there. I wanna, I wanna grab it. Oh wait, that's, that's one of us. I, if I want a... Multiplayer shooter like I don't play Siege. I mean, it's uh, I can I can like that kind of game, but I'm not really seeing why I should be playing the latest Call of Duty over a um, over one of the old. I mean, the older ones that I have progression in that. I mean. It's 
still the same experience, basically just round die, un unless, like, they have this battlefield style mode on, and I can really see the, and I can see the press in that, I can see why that would be fun and interesting, but battlefield has gone down the ca card route, so I could just as well wait for the next game. Assist your team at Bravo. Keep fighting. We got this. At any rate, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just I don't really see what makes it new. I mean, they really think with trailers and everything, and I really and I hope really hope they made some motion with the gunsmith. Um, and that that is actually something I'm very disappointed at regarding. I think that when it comes to uh, the gunsmith, uh, break have made every effort to be the best game out there when it comes to weapon customization. Though that was a wholly undeserved victory on our part. That was not deserved at all. We basically didn't contribute anything, but we ended up second last. Which I'm not really surprised about regarding Call of Duty and So we'll just wait. <sighs> Four eleven, that's not really a decent score. Oh Mr. Paul back. Alright, so we're apparently in a lobby, but it doesn't show. And the fact that you can't even uh, fix your pants until level 4 is ridiculous. I mean, uh, I don't really see any any purpose behind any purpose behind that at all. Right, let's just go ghost. Oh, this is this is kind of new and nice. Adding a bit of uh, adding a bit of an intro with the repelling. That that's actually team quite nice. So this is just team deathmatch, not inbound. domination. We don't have to worry about uh, the points or anything. We just have to uh, get the kills down. Map looks kind of nice. I mean, uh, lots of places to hide and. The Call of Duty guy who's like, oh, uh, there's so many places to hide and get shot from in Call of Duty. Why, why do they do it like this? And Rainbow Six please, uh, Siege plays like, bitch, please. Okay, we can't get up there. And we died. Pretty much the expected outcome. So we're in a cave right now. Pretty nice cave too. Enemy UAV and we will. Let's grab the M4. The how. It Okay, so he was top of, the, top of the scoreboard. That was the number one. We've lost the lead. Just got at least. Yeah, I was gonna say there's gonna be at least one end up front. So let's take the loadout. We can't pick demolition or. Sniper yet. The demolition one actually looks pretty nice, so that is actually one I would like to try. <laughs> Grenade is out. Grab the M4. He's gone. I mean, 
mean, the Call of Duty boxes are pretty. Enemy cruise missile incoming. Take cover. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Uh, Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> that is overkill if I ever heard it. I got a cruise missile. Fucking dead. So let's move. A look, see. This looks like the cave from Iron Man. I mean, you know, where Tony Stark builds the first Iron Man. Please die fast time. Well, I pretty much faced off against the entire enemy team there. Went well, under the circumstances. I mean, the burst fire is surprisingly vi viable. I mean, when it comes when it comes to games like this, usually the only viable fire mode is the fully automatic. But no, they've actually made the burst fire really viable as long as you Enemies put it. There. Step it up. Right where it's supposed to be. Drag out. Okay, so we got the demolition class unlocked for us. Fuck, we missed him. Go down. It's quite funny that the person we seem to be is the guy who's top of the scoreboard. Considering that we're probably still last on the scoreboard, that's pretty fun. The M91, never heard of it. But looks like the MG4. Yeah, let's answer your little grenade with what? A little grenade. Is, it too, is dying too much to ask you? Oh, a smoke grenade. So now they're ripping us smoke as well. Locked. Loaded. Tango down. Move. Go for okay, we got a cruise missile. Friendly UAV overhead. <laughs> Apparently, we got avenged too. Let's see if we still have that cruise missile. Use it. We actually do. And. This happened. No effect on target. Effect on target. No, I wasn't really about to aim it. So thank you for that. Uh, demolition check. Interestingly enough, I seem to have I seem to have spawned with a weapon I did not have. I mean, that must have been a bug. I picked up this. I picked up the gun. Yeah, there we go. It might be that they sense that hey. He unlocked this class, he might want to try it, but I don't know. Let's go. Oh, uh, that was probably some kind of C4 and not a grenade. Ah! And I did not see that guy. Game seems to be freezing Enemy again.
So far, I'm not impressed. I mean, it, it, it's Enemy what I expected it to be. Take cover. Fall back, soldier. Fight another day. But, I mean, they were kind of hinting that it might actually be more this time. And, like I say, I haven't tried the other yet. So, it might just be that... Uh, All the improvements I hit. Okay, third on our team, I'll take that. With 13 kills and 9 deaths. That's be far better than last round. It's still like a game where... Yeah, let's uh, exit the lobby. I just need to check, check the time. And... Um, Make sure that uh, I do have the. I have t I have time for one more game, so we're gonna we're gonna give Ground War another try. And if that doesn't work, uh, I might try another of the other game modes. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll set for uh, what out this. So the match has started, loading the level. And basically everyone here is on PC and mouse and keyboard. I mean, that is actually one thing I think that Call of Duty has done really, really well. And that is the crossplay. And ma making the crossplay based on controller input. Capture objectives and kill your enemies. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Let's try one. I don't seem to be able to destroy the... Yeah, vehicle control is nothing like Battlefield. We're taking Bravo. I mean, I that battlefield style of control that I basically felt like. You got a headshot with with an auto cannon. That's one way to do things, I suppose. I mean, basically, this feels a little like the first battlefront. They tried to force in vehicles, but the maps are too small for them. And the, I don't really mean the first Battlefront as released by yeah, by uh, EA. I mean the like the 2005 game where like there were minuscule maps and uh, the entire thing was based around. I mean I can fire I'm uh, across large swaths of this map, but there's there's absolutely that says I need to actually move out of my spawn to use this vehicle. Enemy UAV overhead. Well, I can use these, uh, these things as cover. Helicopter has been destroyed. I mean, not many people seem to be playing a class where they can actually take on armor. And oh boy, now now another one spawned just because of that. Looks like we're getting more vehicles. I mean, there's, there's no incentive for me to move out of the spawn here. I, I have the range to engage the enemies on... I have the range to engage the enemy. Ah, there's a helicopter. Let's see if we can get a beat on it. Okay, so that, that, that is at least one negating factor. We don't seem to be 
able to, at close range, be able to engage the helicopters. So, nice, nice bonus point for balance right there. That Harrier looks like a kill streak to me. Load. Either it's a friendly one or I can't hurt it for balance reasons. Must be a good. So we stop this and just moving. If we should be, if we're not, I'm going to be severely pissed at this game mode. Yeah, the ve the vehicles feel kind of tacked. I mean, I can understand why they lock them to third person view, and that is because it's it's uh, far more difficult to aim in third person view. Though that is probably the reason why it's restricted to third person view. Either that or there's a button I haven't found yet. Maybe that maybe that is an unlock, I mean level level twenty something and you get first person view one vehicles. My missile doesn't seem to re regenerate though. So uh, whatever missile I fired is the one I got. Enemy attack, go! Enemy taking Charlie. Also, I'm not really a fan of the engine sound. It's like it sounds like a kid's moped or something like that. It's it's just a unsatisfying droning. The fact that I haven't died yet in my vehicle is actually quite worrying. At least it will do wonders for my ki kill death ratio. Okay, that is going for me. I mean, if that cruise missile has any. No? Farewell. Okay, um. Uh, I mean. Whoever controls the enemy cruise missile needs to start aiming them at me. This, this is getting us somewhat ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm not even in cover here. I'm pretty much an easy target for anyone who might want to uh, put some vehicle out of existence. But no, I don't actually see that. I don't see any kill streak. fact that I'm in a vehicle. Be destroyed. Let's get a bit more aggressive and then I actually need to start packing forward. Today's work. Merciless. Apparently, I don't know if vehicle kills count under... Kill streaks, but apparently we do get like <laughs> kill by. So at last, someone actually managed to kill us. I need, to, I need to check the time. Just give me a sec. And there we go. Yeah, uh, I have basically one more. We're gonna try the sniper. So we. Once we tried the sniper, we've tried basically everything. Yeah, and I'm 
already taken fire. Enemy UAV overhead. I expect to die quickly. I know that snipers are some. Did I just out? Yeah, I just basically. Not over. Get out there and hurt them. I basically. 